Look at your neighbor and say, do you feel like you just don't fit in? No matter where you go, you just don't fit in. Some can't appreciate differences because they got a familiar spirit. They only like the familiar because religious spirits that are familiar spirits, they love to talk about where God's been, but they'll fight everything God's wanting to do. That's a religious familiar spirit. As long as you're doing something they're aware of and they're familiar with that they've done themselves, they're okay. Yeah. But oh God, if you was to be trying to do something and cross the side of the tracks where it ain't never been. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why was you talking about that? Because I was talking so much I forgot to breathe. <laughs> and, these fights, somebody say, are prophetic proof. Prophetic God proof. has given you a divine dream, a future oh, favor. Here they are, Genesis 37, 4 through 11. Joseph had a harvest dream. It was a heavenly dream, according to verse 7 and 9. He dreamed about the harvest, remember? His sheaves were bowing down. Or not his, but his brothers were bowing down to him. God was showing him what was coming. And they hated him for it. Why? Because you know you have a heavenly dream because earthly minded church folk will begin to bite you. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Who let them dogs out? Somebody will say, The devil did. But somebody shout, God allowed it on purpose. Philippians 3 2. Now it's in your Bible. Beware of dogs. That's in your Bible. Philippians 3 2. Somebody say, Beware of dogs. He ain't talking about Lassie in your backyard. Come on, he's about here, Holy Ghost. He's talking about religious people. Listen on audio, don't try to adjust your radio. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Then you got them. Come on, somebody. Always barking at you. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor. Say they got a loud bark, but they ain't got no teeth with them. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor. Say, don't be scared of that bark. <laughs> they ain't going to get close enough to bite you. they going to wait till you ain't around. Mm. Turn them over to the dog catcher. Jesus will get him. You ain't got, don't even worry about it. Let him, let him yap. Hello? They got familiar spirits. So they're going to bite you. They got, they, or they're going to bark at you. They're going to come against you. Amen. God always gives a dream about the harvest that's connected with a heavenly purpose. Amen. Harvest of souls. Take them to heaven with him. This is God's dream. It's a harvest of lost souls. And when the dream is connected to the harvest, the Lord of the harvest will bring it to pass. Somebody say amen. amen. So don't think for a minute the enemy is going to just sit by casually and not attempt to discourage what God gave you a dream about. The devil's going to use the religious people. Somebody say religious people. Uh, that's so traditional, trapped in traditions. Most of them's probably done left church by now. Because by God, at 5 to 12, it's over with. Wow. 